got crushed two casts in a row right here. As I was going to recast, I was pulling my line out of the water and he smacked it again, just like I said, right there in front of me. Check out that fish. That's what we like to see. Let's see if we can't get a couple more. I was on a slow strip. We got real lucky with that last fish. He, he wrapped my line around my reel. I was just, I was literally about to pull my line out of the water to cast again and friggin' hit it out of nowhere. Pretty much like probably no more than 10 feet away from me. That was crazy. Luckily, even with the line wrapped around the reel, he was able to take some drag. If not, he definitely would have broke me. Here's the fly we're using. It's just a black, orange, and tan little streamer. Nothing crazy, but 
that little black strip stands out in this off-colored water and it's still natural so one good tip i have for you guys if you're fishing streamers in the lake with floating line definitely hold your rod tip in the water and that goes for honestly any line i don't really fish sink tips because there's not much water around me that i need a sink tip but yeah if you keep your rod tip in the water it really reduces the amount of slack in your line and honestly the fish just hook themselves when they hit it because it's so tight so uh, yeah there's a tip for you that was a hit he didn't hook himself crap but that was definitely a hit he just ripped the line out of my hands let's see if he's still around i don't think i stuck him so maybe i want to bite again Feels like a good one. I was able to muscle him at first, but now he's sort of kicking my ass. We're steering him now. Oh, there he goes again. Don't jump, don't jump. Actually, I don't care if you jump, that'd be cool footage, but don't spit the hook at least. I should probably be using my fighting butt. I forget I have it sometimes. Surf from right in, come on. Oh yeah, good fish. And I laded it. Oh, check that out. Another good fish. All right, sit tight, buddy. He's off. I'm gonna fall him right back out. What's up, fish? Thanks for biting. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me?
This is incredible. These fish are hot. They're hungry. Kicking ass. They're kicking my ass. They're getting released. We're all happy. Yep. Number three. Skin hook. Please calm down. Pretty good fish. Dude, we just had another hit. Very next freaking cast. What is going on? Dude, dude. Absolutely crushing them. That's three and five minutes. It's a little one. He's a jumper though. He's giving us a show. Funky little jack. This is freaking ridiculous. That was a hit. That was a nice wave. Oh, that was a fish. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh. Dude, I, I'm texting Jake right now and I just have my rod sitting here like this and something just hit my streamer. I'm, I can't believe it. There's one. Oh, he's off. Diagonal cast work. So I believe we're like four for seven, four for eight. I don't know, something, something like that. I don't know if I'd consider that a hookup or a hit, but we've had three of those now where I just feel it and then you don't have it. I should probably check my hook, make sure it's not bent out or some shit. Oh, he broke it. Sick. You know, you'd think I'd know to check my line for uh, nicks and frays after six fish or seven fish or whatever it was. 
but nope, I'm just an idiot. Don't be like me. Check your line, retie after every couple fish. Even if it doesn't look bad, there's, there's probably some damage to your line. Unfortunately, we don't have another one of those streamers, but we're gonna try it. Oh, there's the fish I hooked, I bet. I just saw minnows jumping behind my streamer. I bet it was getting chased. Changed up from the black and got a hit. I don't know, first or second cast, I forget. So, that's a good sign. Killing them on the streamers today, folks. They love to run when I'm checking my camera. They're smart. They know I'm checking my camera. I just saw a fish jump way out there. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah. This is number five. Yep. There we go. Oh, good. <laughs> He's a big boy. His death rolling. Yeah, yeah. What'd you do to yourself, bud? I just came out. Oh, sorry. A oh, streamer. Let me take a look at it. Care about this cast out right here? If this? No, not with that. Just oh, cast in here? Yeah, just take one cast. Yeah. yeah, sure, go for it. With that? Yeah. What is it? They were, uh, I had a different one on. It was black and orange and tan. And I, I hooked a big one yesterday, but it took my line and my lure. I've seen that dude hooked up with something. I mean, it looks like all you guys with the fly rod hooked around. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely a lot of fish around, so. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind if you fish around here, so. That's another fish on. Of course I hook up five seconds after I stop recording. I just felt 
felt something pop. I hope that hook didn't come out and hook him in the ass or something. Oh no, we're good. He's ballistic. These are big head shakes. I want to make sure I play this fish because he might be pretty big. Well, the GoPro just died, but I landed it. It's a nice buck. Oh my God, did you guys see that? I stripped it super fast, killed it, and then gave it one last twitch and there's a fish on. Oh, man. All right, I think that'll do it for me today. I've had my fun. I'll get out and let all these people behind me fish this area. That was the second killer today. Just a little emerald shiner pattern. Really simple, actually. So, doesn't take much to get these fish to bite. So I figured I'd take this time, now that I'm done fishing, and before I lose too much light, to uh, explain my gear to you guys and kind of what I bring with me on all my steelhead outings throughout the year. So, start with the rod and reel. We've got the Jeff Blood fly rod. It's a 10 foot three, eight weight, paired with the Reddington Grande. I'm loving this reel so far. And we've got some Rio, uh, Rio Gold Elite fly line on there. Then just after that, we've got your typical tapered leader. I think it's only like seven feet now, just because I've cut it down so much. But then we've got a split shot there, right above the barrel swivel, smaller split shot, and then this fly is unweighted. Um, the first fly I was using was weighted, so I didn't have this split shot there. But um, yeah, just need a little bit of weight to get it down there. And then now we're going to go over what's in my bag. So this is the bag I take with me everywhere. And number one, gotta have them, nippers. And that will bring us into this pocket. We've got our four steps. We've got our little Sheffield box. Take a look in here. All different sizes split shots, toothpicks for pegging beads, bead hooks, swivels of different sizes, uh, rubber pegs, and bigger split shots. So basically, all just terminal tackle in there. All right, so in this pocket, oh, there's a bug in there. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a ladybug in there. All right, so we've got my streamer box. Uh, got a couple of jigs in there, but I don't really th throw those on the fly rod. Tons of white death zonkers, tons of black zonkers. Getting really low on woolly buggers just because I've been stripping a lot lately. Catching tons of fish on streamers, which I apologize for not recording lately. My parents just went to Alaska and they had the GoPro. All right, so next pocket, we've got this box. Tons of eggs. This door is like broken. But tons of eggs, mop flies, blood dots, uh, green weenies, pink weenies, San Juans, um, squirmy wormies, crystal meth, all kinds of good stuff in there. Got our nymph box. Tons of stone flies, pheasant tails, waltz worms, scuds, uh, lively legs nymphs, rubber legs, big stone flies with rabbit strip tails, midges. Just pretty much any uh, any nymphs go in there. Got a large assortment of beads. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I love my beads. 
And then we've got 8 pound Cigar and Vizex, some 6 pound Cigar and Vizex, and some 4 pound Cigar and Vizex. And that basically will cover all your bases for here, whether it's uh, low and clear or high and muddy. Uh, low and clear, I had to throw the 4, and today I was throwing the 8. And then I've got a big bag of indicators. Um, other than that, uh, I've just got a dry fly box. I don't really throw dries for steelhead, but on occasion I will use these big chubbies as an indicator and it's just a lot more subtle of a presentation. You can't put a lot of weight on it, but it gets the job done when they're skittish. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed recording it. Something on my lens. But I enjoyed recording it, enjoyed catching the fish, and uh, if you liked it, consider subscribing, leave a comment, tell me what you liked and didn't like, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.